Hi viewers, this is Dr. Jana and you are watching our programming video with me and today we will be focusing on this regression and mainly we will be focusing on this linear regression. So regression analysis is a very widely used statistical tool to establish a relationship model between two variables. One of these variables is called the predictor variable whose value is gathered through experiments. Uh, the other variable is called the response variable whose value is derived from this predictor variable. In linear regression, these two variables are related through an equation where the exponent or the power of both these variables is 1 and mathematically a linear, linear relationship uh, represents a straight line when plotted as a graph and a nonlinear relationship where the experiment or where the exponent of this uh, any variable is not equal to 1, it creates a curve and the general mathematical equations for linear regression is y is equal to ax plus b or mx plus c whatever things like that. So here y is the response variable and x is the predictor variable and a and b both are constants okay which are also called the coefficients. So this is the thing and the overall idea about this regression. So let us have some idea about this linear regression. So we are going to the program part here. Now I am going for uh, yeah, first me go to program number 30. Okay, 31. Yeah, let us have an idea about these things. So, we have uh, mm, some empty cars, some databases with us. Now, uh, let us take this empty cars and out of that only I take A, M, C, Y, N, S, P and weight, horsepower and the weight and all things in the cylinder. So, all the things I, I take it here. So, I want to print the head uh, input. Okay. For that what I need to do, so just control A, select all the things and run this program. Once you run this program, you can clearly see all these columns like AM, like what is the cylinder and what is the SP and what is the weight, everything it is appearing in front of you. Okay. So you can see it here, this is the program number 31 have run successfully. Then we are moving to the program number 32. The same thing using this VLM function also, uh, I can get all the details specifically for this M dot data. Uh, and I want to find the summary okay so yeah take it here and control a and try to run this program and you can also run and you can find all the things here it is also coming so all these details you can check it here like this okay so moving to the program number 33 uh, yeah here we can see uh, we have x a sequence it is given minus 10 10 uh, so like this the difference is 0 0.1 like that uh, choose mean as 2.5 and the standard deviations are 0 0.5 it is given there so uh, here i want to find what is the d norm and the d, d norm is given i have to calculate this d norm that is d norm uh, x comma mean 2.5 and the standard deviation 0 0.5 it is assigned to y so we are having x and y okay and this is saved in the file d norm dot png so then you plot x y so if you go for these things and try to plot plot a graph so control a and run this program and you can see that the program is saved with the d norm dot png that i will be showing you that one uh, d norm dot p dot png, PNG. Uh, so you can come here and you can see the r programming uh, if you find it here uh, somewhere it will be having d norm a b c d mm. this is in r programming uh, it will be there q norm is there and r norm is there okay so what is the file name if you remember that sharply so we are going for d norm dot png d norm dot png let me check if it's not there we can check it maybe somewhere else it is stored so we can check our c drive and you can go to the document here also uh, document try to find out anything uh, if it is run uh, then the data will be available ct uh, d norm is there okay d norm is there it is already there so if you find this d norm you can uh, find the plot it will be like this okay so like this uh, because uh, somewhere while i am saving uh, it is saved here and there so don't go for uh, don't worry for these things uh, you can show the file or folder where you want to store it uh, that will be fine for you right so now we have successfully run uh, to find these things that is the uh, file number 33 now we are moving to uh, the number 34 okay so what is this number it is okay uh, i am going for uh, uh, r norm okay so p norm and r norm also p uh, so i am going for p norm here in the p norm x value is given 
why is also p normalization is also given it is stored as p norm dot png so select all the things control a and you run this program so once you uh, learn all these the statistical things and how to use this linear regression and other regressions uh, who are having some minimum knowledge about these statistics it will be easy for them otherwise in one more video i will tell you explain all the things how to go for all things i am telling you here only you define this v x and y and you can plot it and you can save it with the file name uh, pnorm.png okay so this is stored as pnorm.png uh, that you can see it here uh, coming to the document uh, you will find the pnorm okay so i hope it will be there somewhere here uh, city uh, dnorm was there j i j k l m n k l m n okay so pnorm it is already here okay so you can yeah you can run this program sorry you can run this program and you can have it the p norm here also it is plotted like this so this type of things everything you can do it here then one more program i will want to run you for you mm, so this is the q norm okay q norm and uh, uh, r norm also i'll show you in the q norm is the same thing x sequence is given y is also q norm of x here mean i have taken two and standard deviation mm, i have taken one so using all the things and it is stored in the file q norm dot png now while i go for plotting it will be stored what is the file name i am showing q norm dot png you go to the q because already i run it here and it is available for you so you go back here and you can see the q norm mm, uh, l m n o p q g h i j k l m n o p q norm i think it is there or not i am unable to see uh, in that case we can go to mm, our programming here and here also you can clearly see l m n o p norm is there p norm is available are here okay so l m n o anyway if it's not there you run this program one second what is the problem so this is the thing control a and run this program and it will be stored where it is stored you see the drive it is there in q norm dot png in the q norm you can clearly see most probably it will be there in the document file yeah you can see the q norm a b c d e g j i j k l m n o p q r uh, q norm it is there very much it is available so q norm you can see uh, it is plotted like this right so like that you can go for the uh, other normalization also so after this uh, q norm i can go for r norm also okay uh, this is the related to r norm and it will be the same thing it will be stored in the file r norm dot png okay select all the things control a and you can go for running this program it will also stored in the r norm you can see it is stored in the r normalization so if you now go back to our uh, uh, document file also because by default it will store in this document file so you can see the opqr norm is there yeah it is already created r norm that also you can clearly see uh, it is also plotted here like this okay so now uh, i have not explained you what is statistics because there is a different uh, lesson for that what is statistics what is the normal lessons and all things but i have tried to explain you how to plot graphs using those concepts i hope you are uh, clear about all the things uh, maybe if, if you like this video please do share with your friends and also uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe all the things and also you say you give a like to this also uh, the second thing is that in our next video we'll be talking about how to take data uh, from excel sheets or csv sheets and even if how to take it from this uh, xml sheets and how to use it and how we can use all these things for data science thank you for watching this video please take care of your health and uh, goodbye